I'm Greg Edwards with Greg's Airbrushing, and uh, this is the second part of the quick t-shirt design. Earlier we just did a uh, beach design, as you can see here. So now we're going to move forward with a kind of like a, a more of a boyish design, a cracked concrete or brick wall style design with a name on it. It's uh, very easy to do, it's quick, and uh, it's something that you can charge about 10 to 20 bucks for and uh, uh, make a little money. So uh, let's jump right on it. So again, everything that I'm gonna show you guys, it's gonna be, if I have to use a tool uh, or a template or something, it's gonna be something that you guys can find at your fingertips right around the house. So we're gonna use a clothespin and a piece of cardboard. So in this particular design, we're just going to lightly dust. And again, use your shoulder, not your wrist. You use your shoulder, you're going to have more control, and it's going to be a nice fade. So most of your design is already done. You can either go with a circle pattern with this, or you can go side to side making a more square or rectangular shape. So now we're going to use the front end of our clothespin. And look at how I hold it close to, hold the airbrush close to the clothespin. So watch how close I am to the edge. And look at the dots. See, the dots are very fine, but the further away I get from the end of the clothespin, the larger the dots get. I can really control what's going on. So it's not just all over the place. So I'm directing where I want the dots to go. So this is going to give us that granite look. Alright, so we have somewhat of a basic look. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dry using my airbrush the specs that I just made. If you guys have time, check out our website at gregsautoairbrushing.com Okay, so I'm going to take my piece of straight edge cardboard and I'm going to lay it down and a light dust across the top. Notice I'm not going on the side because I want to extend my lines if I need to. I'm going to drop it uh, to a size of brick that I want to have and I'm going to lightly dust it again. Nothing hard. And I'm eyeballing this. This design right here should take you all of about anywhere between five to maybe seven or eight minutes at the most. Okay? And we're going to add another. So, now that I have my bricks going horizontally, I'm going to dust in my bricks that I want to go vertically. Nice little dagger stroke with a lightly, lightly done. Okay, then I'm going to skip and do the next set of bricks. I'm going to come back after I size up my bricks. And remember, nothing has to be perfect here. Okay, nothing has to be perfect. All you want to do is to give a, a brick wall look. Alright, and here again. And I'm going to go up on this one right here. So now, as you can see, if I wanted to, I can extend the brick wall a little bit more, but I'm not. I'm just going to jump right in and add a brush stroke name. And uh, let's see here. Let's go with Ryan. So here's the name. It's just a simple brush stroke. Real sharp dagger strokes. Nothing hard.
to a Y. A. And N. Very simple. So now I'm going to come back with the red and I'm going to trim the name. Remember, nothing too detailed. This design should take you all of about five to eight minutes to do. Of course, if someone's name's just a little longer, it may take you a little longer. Nice little trim of red around the letters. Nothing special. Okay, if you want to add a little more of a cut to it, you can always just do a dagger stroke down and kind of make it look like some of the paint is running. Kids are like this. I feel like you really took time to hook it up. Now, these are two quick designs. The uh, beach design as well as the brick wall design that are quick, fast, and fun. And you beginners out there should definitely take advantage of this and add it to the designs that you're doing now. I'm Greg Edwards, your airbrush instructor. Make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the little red button and uh, hope to see you soon.